Hey everyone, welcome back to a new video. In this video, I'm going to be talking about the second meet of my season where I ran the 1600 and the 800. And it was a few days ago, so I've had a couple days to analyze in my head what I could do better and what I could do differently. And I PR'd in both events I ran, and I had about an hour and 15 minutes in between to rest, and I ran the 1600 first and the 800 after. And yep, I'm going to do a voiceover and talk about what I could do differently and what I think I did good. And yep, let's get into it. Alright, so this is the start of the 1600 race. And I get out pretty well here. I'm about 4th I think, I can't really see. But I'm in the front pack. I didn't, get, I didn't want to get out too fast because I knew that it's 1600 meters, not 100 meter sprint. So um, yeah, I... Didn't go out too fast. I My first lap was about 75 seconds, which I wanted it to be a little slower than last meet. Last meet, my first lap of my 16 was 72 seconds. And right here is Will and Declan, the two blue guys in the front, and then I'm right behind them. And we're kind of in the front pack, um, trying to keep a steady pace. And here, Declan kind of broke away from us. Um, he broke away from us and me and Will are kind of on the guy in the white shoulder and our second lap was 235 which was, is an 80 second second lap so we kind of didn't we didn't have a 75 second lap but it was still a solid pace um, for 235 and at this point I didn't feel too bad um, I felt like I could still run two laps which is what you want that's the ideal thing you want to have and um, we kind of broke away from the guy in the white who was in we were sitting on the shoulder and then it was just a race between me and Will so here's our third lap coming around the third band of the third lap and um, here me and Will are winding up our kicks and our third lap was 355 which is another 80 second lap and I'm gonna next race I'm gonna focus on working on my third lap because the third lap, you could kind of fall off the pace sometimes, but I didn't fall off the pace. I kept a steady pace, but in my next meet, I'm going to try to keep a more even pace or even improve and go faster on my third lap. Okay, so this is the last 200, and um, right here, I looked at my watch, and I saw 437, and I knew that I was going to break my PR, but I really wanted to see how much I could break my PR by and close really fast. And also here's Declan. I think he ran a 504 and um, he said he didn't have the be his best race, so I'm excited to see what he can run later in the season. Um, but here I am coming around the final stretch and um, I end up running pretty good. I ran a 516, which is a, an 11 second PR, so I was really happy about that. But I feel like I can also go faster which is really exciting. Okay, so now is the 800, and as I said before, between the 1600 and the 800, I had about an hour and like 15 minutes or an hour and a half, and I thought I was only going to have like 30 or 45 minutes in between, but the meet uh, kind of took a while, and like in between the 16 and the 8, there were a lot of like sprinting events and in between each heat of those events was kind of like a very long time so I actually got to have a lot more rest than I thought I would which was good and going into this race I did not know what I could run in the 800 I thought that going under 220 would be I'd be really happy with but then um I'd be happy with anything under 225 because I did not know what I could run um so yep let's get into it Alright, so the gun goes off, and going into this race, I knew that I wanted to get out fast because there were a lot of people, and I knew that I needed to get out fast to run a good time because basically the 800 is like two laps of almost sprinting. So I wanted to get out fast, and I did a pretty good job of that. I ended up getting out fast. My first lap was about 69 seconds, and I was pretty happy with that. I felt like I went out pretty fast, but also I could run another lap which is what you need to have for an 800, because an 800 is two, lap, two laps. And um, here's my teammate Brandon finishing. He ended up out kicking another guy, 
and he actually ran a good time of like around two minutes or 201 or 203. Um, and yeah, that was good for him. I think that was a PR. And he also ran the 4x8. Um, he's a very talented runner. Here is me finishing in 222, which is a 72 second last lap. And I was pretty happy with that. I didn't know what I could run. Um, but yeah, I was pretty satisfied with 222. All right, guys. So that was my second meet of the season. And I have another meet um, this Wednesday. And so I'm gonna, I'm looking forward to that too. But yeah, I'm pretty satisfied with this meet. You can't complain with two PRs. But the good thing is I felt a lot of energy like on the last stretch of like the 16 and like finishing the eight. So I felt very powerful and I know that I can run faster, which is good. Um, so I'm excited to see what I can run. I think I'll run the 3200 and the 16 um, next meet we have and I'm very excited because we had a workout a few days ago. It was like 4 by 800s and like it was at race pace or maybe a little faster than race pace and like my breathing felt so controlled and um, I felt like I wasn't going race pace at all but it was faster than race pace. Um, and then we had a really long run today and my I didn't feel like I was breathing hard at all, just my legs were a little tired, but that's okay. Um, Cause I'll be rested for the meet. I'm looking forward to see what I can run um, because in all the workouts I've done since and all the runs, I felt like my breathing, I felt like I've barely been breathing hard. It's just um, getting your mind to realize your legs aren't tired even if they are and that's when you are really powerful and that's when you're really dangerous. So I'm excited for meets to come. Like if you enjoyed, subscribe if you're new or you don't have to, it's okay. Um, be happy, be great, and I'll see you later. Also comment down below who you think is gonna win the national championship. I got U of A women and Gonzaga boys because if I pick Gonzaga right, I win $85.